Intestinal parasites. Intestinal parasites are parasites that populate the gastrointestinal tract in humans and other animals. They can live throughout the body, but most prefer the intestinal walls. The two main types of intestinal parasites are helminths and protozoa. Helminths are worms with many cells, such as tapeworms, pinworms, and roundworms are among the most common helminths in the United States. Protozoa have only one cell and can multiply inside the human body, which can allow infections to develop. What causes it? The things that raise the risk for getting intestinal parasites are living or visiting an area known to have parasites, international travel, poor sanitation for both food and water, poor hygiene, age, children and the elderly are more likely to get infected, exposure to child and institutional care centers, having a weakened immune system, HIV or AIDS. Signs and symptoms. They include abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea or vomiting, gas or bloating, rash or itching around the rectum or vulva, stomach pain or tenderness, feeling tired, weight loss, also passing a worm in your stool. Transmission. Intestinal parasites are often transmitted by contaminated food or water and or during non-sexual intimate contact. They may also be transmitted sexually. They are most common in places with poor hygiene and sanitation. Intestinal parasites are usually transmitted when someone comes in contact with infected feces. Transmission of parasites is also increased among kids in daycare centers and schools where they come in contact with many more infected children. Prevention. Wash your hands with soap and water before handling food. Before eating any raw vegetables or fruits, wash, peel, or cook them first. Make sure to deworm your pets and treat them for fleas. Always wear shoes when you're walking on soiled areas. If you are traveling to a country with poor sanitation and hygiene, make sure to avoid contact with food contaminated with soil. Do not eat beef, pork, or fish that is undercooked or hasn't been refrigerated properly. Overall, practice good hygiene. Treatment options. They include drug therapies. Your healthcare provider will choose the drug that is most effective for your intestinal parasite. You may need one dose or you may have to take medication for several weeks. Be careful to take the medication exactly as prescribed or it may not be effective. Complementary or alternative therapies. Conventional medical treatments can get rid of parasites more quickly and with fewer side effects than most alternative treatments. Alternative treatments may be helpful along with conventional medications. However, your healthcare provider must find out what kind of organism is causing your problems before treatment can resume. Herbs may also be suggested by practitioner. Statistics and additional facts, local, statewide, and national. Worldwide, it's estimated that over 4 billion people are infested with intestinal parasites and that 450 million are ill because of them. It is estimated that 85% of Americans have some type of intestinal parasite. Statewide, over 40% of the population will be infected with intestinal parasite. Studies have shown that up to 10% of local residents may be infected with intestinal parasites. There are some 140 different parasites that can infect the human body. In the U.S., the most common are protozoa, are Guardia, and Cryptosporidium. References are listed. So, in order to keep and prevent parasites, intestinal parasites in particular, please try and use caution in transmitting any type of germs. Please use the preventative measures that have been listed for you. Thank you. This has been a PSA announcement on intestinal parasites.